Hey everyone, this is Cisco here with Gentleman Gaming, and we are painting a model from Studios. And we're going to go ahead and airbrush uh, black brown uh, paint here from Monument Hobbies. All the paints will be from Monument Hobbies, with the exception of a few. All right, so we're not going to use AK white ink to give some highlight. And I'm planning on uh, doing some OSL effects uh, from the magic that he's uh, creating from his uh, left hand. And then I wanted to do kind of like a power weapon effect um, on his hammer. So after we got the white highlights down, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spray over him with the transparent brown. And the transparent line is really nice uh, because it does keep those highlights that I created in the previous step and it gives that nice uh, transparent look to it. Alright, I'm finishing up the brown on the base just to add some um, depth to the base. Alright, next step I'm going to add some transparent yellow and some shadow flush. I'm going to mix this together to kind of get uh, lighten up the uh, body of uh, this guy because I wanted his mane and body to be a little bit uh, separated in color. So I wanted that orangey, that yellow look. Alright, so I just added a little bit of extra transparent yellow to the mix. Um, and I'm just going ahead and brightening up his skin a little bit. Um, right now it was coming in a little bit more browner than I liked, so I was going to add a little bit more yellow. Um, and since it is transparent, it's just going to uh, absorb those colors behind it. And now we have some blue black. And this is going to be the base for his leather jacket. I wanted a leather, uh, blue leather jacket, um, something different than uh, brown, just because his skin's brown. I didn't want it all to be muted, so I wanted to give it a nice, like blue rustic look to it.
All right, so I'm grabbing turquoise, and I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, coloring in the, uh, his weapon there. Just wanted to do uh, the edges, the sides of it, um, kind of give it that uh, weapon look. And we're gonna add in a little bit of the AK white to the turquoise to brighten up the, the hammer look. All right, and we're gonna use gold on his leg, um, his one leg and his armor around his waist. So I'm gonna go ahead and thin it down a little bit with some Vallejo hairbrush thinner. All right, now that we got our colors down, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the magic uh, powers out of his hand and starting the OSL effect with transparent purple. And this is to also keep that transparent look just so that we can build up those highlights um, that we have in that magic hand. So here we go with uh, regular purple. And I'm going to spray a little bit on his arm, his leg, and a little bit on his uh, leather jacket. And then lastly, we're going to use faded uh, plum. And the faded plum I want to kind of uh, centralize just on that uh, magic lightning he's got in his hand. And then we're going to add a little bit of the white heat to the pump to try and brighten it up some more. And I'm adding a little bit of extra matte white to the plum to see if we can get it a little bit more brighter. It's purple. There we go. All right, so now that airbrushing is all done and out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start dry brushing a little bit and just kind of rubbing some of that dry brush off just so that it's not as pronounced. Um, right now I'm using a pan uh, color from uh, Army Painter and I'm just going to dry brush a little bit on his uh, chest uh, to get a little bit of his mane. And now I'm going over his staff with uh, black. This is more of a transparent black. And now we're doing final touches. Uh, it's gonna add a little bit of brown, uh, a leather brown to his belt and the straps on his waist. And just gonna go ahead and add some more of that brown and get a little bit more darker. Um, after this is all set, 
I'm going to go ahead and use some washes and uh, finish up the model. So I'm going to use a dark tone wash on the model uh, to get in those recesses and then uh, kind of just access those highlights on the base. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and dry brush a little bit of silver onto the gold uh, to go in and make that gold pop a little bit. Kind of make it get rid of that uh, robotic type look, um, but I still wanted that gold to be there. I'm also gonna add a little bit of that silver dry brush onto his staff. And I'm just dry brushing a little bit of white in, uh, in the very center of that lightning bolt. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and add in the eyes. I'm just going to do white for his eyes. Uh, again, do his teeth. And I'm going to go ahead and add some red for his tongue. Alright, and if you like these types of videos, uh, please like and subscribe, and give us some feedback on, you know, anything in the video, anything that you like, um, and yeah, look out for the next video next week.